गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन दिस इज द लेसन फॉर क्लास सेवेंथ मैथ्स दिस लेसन इज सबमिटेड टू यू ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द रिविजन ऑफ चैप्टर इन टीचर्स एंड फ्रैक्शंस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट डूइंग फ्यू क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज we have to find 6 minus minus 2 using the number line only whenever it is asked that you have to use find using the number line only then first of all draw the number line now 6 Minus of minus two, minus minus is what? Plus. So we get six plus two. So now let us start from the point six. This is point six. Now plus telling us the direction that we have to move towards right. if there will be negative we will move shift towards the negative direction that is left side so now plus means we will shift towards right how many digits we will shift 2 1 2 so this is our final point and what is it yes this is 8 now the next question is we have to simplify the given expression that is 3 of 15 plus 9 divided 3 minus 2 line bracket into 6 according to the board mass rule first of all we open the line bracket now 3 minus 2 gives us 1 so we get 15 plus 9 divided by 1 into 6 now according to board mass rule division should be done first so 9 divided by 9 is 9 9 into 6 is 54 so 15 plus 54 that is 69 So three into sixty-nine gives us what? Yes, two hundred seven. So now the next question for the simplification is two double five zero minus square bracket thirty-eight minus curly bracket. 60 divided by 3 minus round bracket 6 minus 9 divided 3 divided by 3 round bracket then curly bracket square bracket so according to the board mass rule first of all we will solve the round bracket and in the round bracket there we will solve first division so 9 divided by 3 gives us 3 so now round bracket we will solve 6 minus 3 gives us 3 now we will solve this curly bracket in the curly bracket again there is division 3 divided by 3 that is equals to 1 60 divided by 3 that is equals to 20 so we get 20 minus 1 which gives us 19 and on division we got 2531 clear now in the next question we have to arrange these fractions in ascending order so first of all we have to make all the denominator same and how will we make it by taking first of all lcm 
and on finding the LCM we get what? We get 360. So it means now we will make in all the fractions denominator 360. So now first fraction is 5 upon 6. So 6 into 60, 360. In the numerator also multiply by 60, we get 300 upon 360. Then 7 upon 8 we are having, 8 into 45, 360. In the numerator also we get 315. Then 15 into 24 gives us 360 and 13 into 24 gives us 312. Then 12 into 30 gives us 360 and 11 into 30 is equal to 330. Then 23 by 36 into 10 gives us 360. So in the numerator also we have multiplied it by 10. So we get what? If we have to write all these fractions in ascending order means smaller to bigger. So what it will be? 230 upon 360 which corresponds to 23 upon 36. Then 300 upon 360 that is 5 upon 6. Then 312 upon 360 that is 13 upon 15. Then 315 upon 360 that is 7 upon 8. And 330 upon 360 that is 11 upon 12. Clear? Now the next question is also same. We will first solve the line bracket that we have done. Now we will open the round bracket that also we have done. So we get 23 upon 3 plus 66 minus 11 upon 30 that is 23 upon 3 plus 55 upon 30. Now to make the denominator same, let us multiply this fraction by 10. So 3 into 10 is 30, 23 into 10 is 230 and on addition we get 285 upon 30. And in the mixed fraction we can write it like 9, 1 upon 2. Clear? Now the next question is, of the 10 books on fairy tales, Gilly borrowed 3. Means there were 10 books and out of 10 books, Gilly borrowed 3 books. And we have to find the fraction of books on fairy tales she borrowed. So how many books she borrowed? 3 upon 10. Why 10? Because this is the total. Now the next question is Aftab monthly salary is 25,000. He spent 1 by 5 of his salary in rent and of the remaining amount this is the next line of the remaining amount he spent 1 upon 4 on the education of his children and 1 upon 5 on food. And we have to find the Aftab's monthly expenditure and monthly savings. So now first of all monthly salary is 25,000 and he spent 1 by 5 of his salary on rent of rent. So now how will we start? He spent 1 by 5 of his salary on rent. Of the remaining, remaining means 25,000 minus 5,000 that is 20,000. So what we were saying 1 by 5 of his salary in rent of the remaining amount. And he spent 1 by 4 on the 
education of his children so education to children will be what 1 by 4 of 20000 so we get 5000 and on food also we have to find 1 upon 5 into 20000 so we got the answer so now he spent 5000 here then remaining was here then education to children now monthly expenditure we have to find what it will be he spent 5000 plus 5000 plus 4000 so monthly expenditure is 5000 plus 5000 plus 4000 that is 14000 clear and what will be the savings total money that is 25000 minus 5 sorry minus 14000 so we get what we get 11000 i hope now this revision is clear to you you have to do practice at your home on daily basis fine thank you children